Kenya has been used as a location by filmmakers across the world. In that time, the local film industry has grown steadily, but slow, compared to such heavyweights as Egypt, Nigeria, Tanzania and South Africa until now. A group of local filmmakers is hoping to change all that. The show is called Tukumacha, which means we're a lot. It tells the story of a vigilante group hunting criminals across Nairobi. It's shown online and viewers help choose how each episode ends. The creative mind behind Tukumacho are the self-styled Nest Collective. Like a lot of Kenyans are on Facebook and a lot of people engage on Facebook. And we wanted to, to talk to Kenyans, we wanted to see and we wanted them to respond to us, to the series. Each episode averages around 100,000 views and the international market is watching. In September, Tukumacho will be screened at the Toronto International Film Festival. It's the biggest film festival in the world right now. And Tukumacho premiering there for the first time um, in, in the prime time, uh, it, is, it, it is an honor. It is an honor. The collective credits the success to the fact they dare to be different. At the Nest, uh, we have a way of doing things. And so every idea starts, we, every, like if one person in the collective has an idea, we'll sit down and we'll break it down as a collective. And then after, when, once it gathers steam, that's when we'll decide like, okay, so, so this team goes and does this. Nairobi. They are hoping the screening in Toronto will help other local movie makers find a global stage. Bobat Nagelo, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.